Hello dear traders, you're watching the weekly review of Forex and Stock Markets with me, Anna Kasatkina. The US stock indices were mixed on Friday, affected by the concerns that the US would pair its bond buying program. Dow Jones Industrial climbed by 0.1% to 15,303.1 on Friday. The index lost 0.3% for the week. Standard & Poor's 500 finished 0.1% lower at 1,649.6 points. Utilities, energy and telecommunication services were among the worst performing. The index weekly decline totaled 1.1%. Nasdaq Composite dropped 0.01% to 3,459.14 points, having lost 1.1% at the end of the week. The major stock indices were nearing the history highs during the last week. However, they reversed on Wednesday after the Fed chairman Ben Bernanke said that the regulator could curtail the bond buying program in the upcoming months. Meanwhile, Friday's losses were mild as the investor confidence improved after the release of the reports on durable goods orders and unemployment claims. Thus, the Ministry of Trade reported that the number of durable goods orders grew by 3.3% in April due to robust demand for aircraft, military goods and automobiles. Economists in their turn suggested that the indicator could demonstrate a scanty 1.4% increase. On Monday, the U.S. markets were closed owing to the Memorial Day in the U.S. and a spring bank holiday in the U.K. Procter & Gamble Incorporated maintained positive dynamics. The company's shares added 4% on Friday after the manufacturer of consumer goods announced that Alan George Lafley would rejoin the company as the CEO to replace Bob McDonald, who is blamed for the worst performance. McDonald resigns from office due to the shareholders' discontent. At the same time, Pandora Media quotes closed lower at $16.43, losing $0.73 cents or 4.3% per share. Previously, the company's papers were in the green zone as the corporation providing radio services online disclosed its upbeat quarter results. Moreover, it disclosed the outlook for the second quarter, which was above the experts' estimates. In addition, the company reported the high revenue from mobile devices broadcasting. And this was the latest weekly review of Forex and Stock Markets prepared for you by our InstaForex team. Thank you and goodbye.